so uh, last night I had the first civility dinner that I've had oh, since yeah. COVID started. I haven't had one in almost a year. And for anyone who's new to our show and doesn't know, it's civility dinners. It's something I started um, before unsafe before I joined Unsafe Space Af after the 2016 election. I just wanted to get together with like-minded people on the right and the left and have civil conversations where we could disagree, but have underlying principles that we all share, a belief in free speech and a belief in trying to use civility and disagreement and a, and a belief in you know individualism, equality, freedom. We can disagree on a myriad of things if we have those things in common, if we believe that you should be allowed to disagree, right? And so um, I started these after the last election and they were really a blessing. One of the, one of my favorite things about the past four years is because we would get together and we would have, uh, after uh, originally we were having people who were Clinton voters. We had Trump voters. We had evangelicals. We had atheists. We had people of all different opinions. They would come together with these mutual foundational beliefs. And then, and then we would get to have conversations and it, and people made friends and it was so much fun. And so anyway, I did the first one I've done in a long time yesterday and uh, we had 13 people come out. A lot of them, some of them watched the show and uh, did people, Kiara show up? Kiara came, Ki uh, Carter's friend Kiara, who is the author of Bitcoin Clarity. We've interviewed her before she came. Um, just a lot of interesting people and a lot of great conversation. I mean, we closed the place down. They were, they were, putting chairs on tables by the time we left. And then we continued talking in the parking lot for a while. Nice. Like, cause, and, and for a lot of uh, one guy who came, he, um, he, he's so inspiring. I'm not going to tell what all these individual people do. Cause I don't know how, what amount of privacy they want, but this one inspiring guy I was talking to was saying that this was the first time he remembered like being out with a group of people and socializing since March of last year and how just relaxing and freeing that was. Yeah. And it was just, it was beautiful. Um, yeah. Somebody asked, where am I? I'm, I'm in the Austin area and, and you can definitely come to, I'll, I'll let you know what the civility dinners, Twitter is back up. We were, um, we were temporarily banned, but we're back and uh, I'll start using it more often now that unsafe space is they shut down. banned civility Twitter? They civility did. Um, Twitter? Yeah, they they didn't do a permanent ban. How dare ban. you be civil? I know. How dare you get together with people of opposing beliefs to have discussions? <laughs> wow. Um, because they don't like stuff like that, I think. But anyway, no, I, um, they don't. Yeah, you can. I'll let people know and and about the Austin ones. But also, if you want to have one in in your town and you want me to come, reach out to me. Like we can talk about it. I love these. I love it so much. And we don't even have like it's very rare that I would do uh, forced discussion topics like usually the conversation just flows naturally and everybody's moving around and talking to different people. And it's it just kind of an organic thing. But we've also in the past, there was one time I remember over a year ago where we kind of went around and had some prompted questions and that was interesting, but um, I, I love it and it's positive And I felt really good coming out of that. And it felt good just, you know, having communion with people and there were atheists there. There were uh, uh, Christians there. There were uh, progressives some people who I would say still consider themselves progressive and um, conservatives based people who were consider themselves based, you know, it was, but we all agree that what's happening right now is alarming in this country, that the propaganda is alarming and that, that this, this polarization they've managed to create in this country along this red this this red and blue, this left and right false dichotomy is just part of the problem. And yeah. so it's it's great to get together and I don't know, to see people in, in person like that was great.